In this video, I'm going to show you an absolute bomb out of the gun bunch formation that can beat cover three and cover two for one play touchdowns. Has the potential to get over the top of cover four with a really special trick that we're going to show you in this video. And also has some of the best man beating concepts in the game. This play is very powerful. I think it's a must have if you run bunch. We're going to be in the Washington playbook this year or this uh, for this video. And if you want to get my full Washington offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video down below. Um, our Patreon is only 10 bucks to become a member. It's where you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks. We have four different gun bunch ebooks in the Patreon. Washington is one of them. And we're going to be going over the play Bunch Trail out of the Washington playbook now what's cool about washington is it also has tight and the bunch open tight end two really really good formations it has spread wide flex which is really good this year and also has empty bunch which i think is a very untapped formation in the current competitive meta so the play is bunch trail and here's how to run it to beat cover three and cover two we're going to first start with cover two um this play you literally don't make any adjustments and it beats cover two so I'm just going to snap the ball, and what you're going to see is this post route will beat cover two up the middle every single time. Um, now, if we want to beat cover three, um, what I like to do is put my bunch to the short side of the field, and there's two things that you can do to beat cover three. The first one is you can take this outside bunch receiver, put him on a streak, and just motion him across, and what you're going to notice is if we do that, he is going to clear out that middle third, the corner route is going to clear out the outside third, and you got your post route running deep over the middle for an absolute bomb against cover three. Now the second way is a little bit more subtle. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the running back on a streak out of the backfield. Now these running back streaks, um, they used to be like, like this basically, where they were just like a straight running back streak, so to speak. Um, and then EA basically fat patched them back to the way they used to be, which is this little angle streak right here. And you can do whatever you want with everybody else. But what you'll see is against cover three, he is now going to kind of clear that middle third defender. And then you're going to have that post coming open late in the play. Now you do need time for this play to develop. And so you want to make sure that you're going through your progressions. You want to make sure you're looking, if they're blitzing you, you're looking to your trail route. You're looking to your corner route. Um, you're looking to your, you know, your drag or whatever. So make sure you're taking your check downs as needed. But what you'll see is this running back streak is kind of a sneaky clear out route for this. You see right there, um, it's still able to get over the top of the cover three, even with the running back streak or with that motioned over streak. Now, cover four is a little bit of a different animal, um, specifically from 3-3 three, three, normal or dollar because of how deep the safeties are um, off the line of scrimmage. You'll see here it's the exact same setup, but unfortunately it's just not going to work as consistently. So what you're going to see here is this inside quarter is going to kind of bail back, and then you're going to be in a position where you're going to have to basically throw the ball you're going to have to throw the receiver open. And the way that you want to do this is you want to use free form and high ball passing at the same time. Free form and high ball passing at the same time. And essentially what we're trying to do is get this post route on top of the quarter. And then we're just going to free form up, directly up. Because we're just trying to get this guy on top of the player. Now, um, one thing you can try for cover four is to just put the tight end on a quick slant. The reason is because the safety will kind of bite down on that slant. And then the, again, you're just trying to get this guy on top of him. And you see, it's not, it's not anything like super good. Okay. So I wouldn't like, I would not advise throwing this against cover four. If they quarter that safety, like they kind of got you um, from the bomb perspective, but there's so much other stuff that are open on this play. Um, you know, this this little trail route is so good. And if you wanted to, you can block your running back. You can put your running back on an in route, out route, wheel route. All those are options uh, with this play. But against man-to-man, -man, 
this trail route is really good as you see right there able to get some man-to-man -man separation with that trail route and then the other route that's really good against man-to-man -man is this route to randall cobb this corner route so you're going to isolate this corner out one-on-one -on -one with randall cobb and what you'll see is a lot of times you know he's going to kind of cut to the right you saw him get that separation i just wasn't able to get the ball off because practice mode sheds are insane um but we'll show it to you again here so you'll see lazard will be our streak and again whatever you want to do with your running back if you want to just keep it simple just leave him on this route right it doesn't matter of course i accidentally run commit um but just leave him on the route and you don't have to do anything with the running back that's all i'm trying to show you so you don't have to do anything special with the running back um if you you know if they are truly in man coverage that's where i like the in route to the back um because i do think it does get some decent man-to-man -man separation but the main route on the play is this route to Cobb. Uh, and what you want to do is you can highball it if he gets clear separation. He didn't get clear separation there. Um, but if he does get clear separation, you can highball it. If he doesn't, if you just free form outside, he'll get open just like that. And if you have short and elite, it'll make it a little bit more consistent for you against man. And then the last thing about man to man, um, let's say they're dropping... I get this defense a lot where they're basically going to drop this left guy into an outside third, right? And we get we get kind of a look like this. This is actually a fairly common look that you'll get in bunch this year because so many people want to run, throw a C route to the left. This is a great little variation because what you're going to see here is that third will not match the post. And then you'll have this late just like you would against cover three. So I would not sleep on the post. I really wouldn't. Um, because a lot of times in man coverage, they're going to be doing something like that. Another thing that you'll see a lot in man coverage is they will actually go ahead and shade their coverage like outside to try to defend corner routes better, to try to defend C routes better. And what you'll notice with this play is if that's the case, this post can also get separation to the inside, especially if you put short in or short out elite on that player. Um, it's gonna help. It's gonna help make them a little bit better against man to man. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with bunch trail. The biggest piece of this is its ability to beat and bomb cover three, cover two, and then if you are, you know, you see right here, like let's say we get a one on one, like you got a big body receiver, you can go up and make a chance, take a chance, try to get a play. But really the bottom line is this play is a really gifted uh, play for you against cover two, cover three. Um, and then against cover four, really your trail route is going to be a great check down for you in the middle of the field. And again, you can kind of use your running back however you see fit. But this play really does a great job at breaking down, um, you know, cover two and cover three uh, that allows your offense to kind of have some more big play potential. Bunch is good for a lot of reasons. And if you want to learn how to run Bunch at the highest level, I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon. Um, we've got four different Gun Bunch offensive ebooks as well as more on the way, including the Washington ebook that we're talking about in this video. So if you want to check all that stuff out, make sure you're over at the Patreon. If you don't want to use Bunch and you just want to get, become a better player, we also have a lot of other offenses over there as well. So 10 bucks gets you access to all of the content over there, all of the ebooks and any new ebooks. We're dropping a brand new ebook later this week. So make sure that you subscribe or I'm sorry, join the Patreon. The link is down in the description down below. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you over at Patreon.